the Bonnie and Clyde of metabolic destruction. If you've spent decades, like I did, eating all the biscuits, the cookies, the cereals, the granolas, the breads, the healthy, low-fat yogurts that are basically pudding with a marketing team, then your insulin, as mine was, has been high for years. High insulin tells your body to store fat. But even more importantly, for leptin, high insulin creates inflammation. Inflammation in the brain, especially in the hypothalamus, actually damages those receptors that are supposed to receive leptin. It's literally like pouring glue into a lock. It just ain't gonna work anymore. So your fat cells keep shouting. Your brain can't hear. The wiring is damaged, you're full, but the brain thinks you're still empty. That is leptin resistance in a nutshell. So the good news, because there's always good news, is that leptin, can, leptin resistance can be reversed. You already have loads, you just need to repair the alarm system. Unglue the locks and calm the chaos. 